their playoff seating. Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we're going to talk about Game 1 of the NBA Finals, and also we're going to talk about the other upcoming game, Game 2, on what these teams need to do to win this thing, man. What they need to do to win this thing. And first of all, guys, before we get this video started, I want to say thank you for the support of my future, my, my recent videos, guys. I, I was really happy as, as far as the likes goes. I really appreciate the support on my last videos, you know, talking about Madden we're talking about a few things the good old days are coming back but guys I also want to thank the haters the haters out there thank you very much your haters I want to thank the haters guys when people are hating on you that means you're doing things right man that's when that envy comes out man that's when that that evil comes out of people and they just want to hate they just want to hate so guys go ahead and put the go ahead and put your dislike on the video right now off of all the haters out there but man let's get into this game guys let's get into this game yeah all right all right all right man this is going to be an exciting series, guys. You know the Cavs, man. The Cavs were right there, man. The Cavs were right there. But what I'm going to talk about, guys, I'm going to talk about the kind of styles each team was playing as we were watching game one and what we can expect for game two. Man, um, I, I, LeBron did his job, man. And, you know, and, I, and I think for what the, the Cavs are, I think they did okay, man. I think they did their 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 job, and let LeBron do his job, and everything would be okay. Well, let's go ahead and get this game started, man. Let's go ahead and get it started. We don't want to make this too long. Yeah. You know, right now they got equal dollar in the lineup, but he's probably not going to play in, the, in these finals. But uh, I didn't know how to switch it, but here we go. Go, guys. Both teams love to take all right, all right. Here we go. Real dunk. So one, you've got to take high oh, Kevin Durant's shots, doing his thing. Make sure you're getting Everybody's good doing their thing. All right, here's here the tip ball, guy. We're going to talk about game one and game two coming up. Boom. All right, here we go. All right, let's set the you know, floor. just looking at Kevin Love real quick, he played good in the last game. He's done his part. You know, as long as everybody do their part, the cap should be okay. And as you as you can see, guys, LeBron, okay, he gave it up to Smith. LeBron with the jumper. He was doing that in the first game, and he was hitting them too, baby. LeBron was hitting those threes like it wasn't nothing. He was on fire. Okay, okay, okay. This can happen on the road. You're out defending guys. And one of the things I want to talk about, guys, the first thing when I talk about, I want to talk about clear outs. You know, it seems like both teams in game one um, were really taking their mans. Whoever was on offense was taking her man way beyond the three-point line to create lanes, to create open lanes. And I think a lot of times LeBron hit those lanes, uh, uh, Kevin Durant hit those lanes. There were open lanes for Curry. You know, the guys that know how to create their own shot. Uh, oh, man, that was a great shot right there. See, that's, that's how the, that's how the uh, 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 Golden State works. Man. That's how they work. And again, James, LeBron James is controlling the offense, controlling the ball. You know, that's what they thought Isaiah Thomas would do, was get the ball out of LeBron's hand and let him go to work, man. But, you know, that never worked out as, you know, as we know, that never worked out. But as you can see, Kevin Love did a great pick and roll right there. And that's what the Cavs have to do. But to get back to my point, they were doing a lot of clear outs. Oh, look at Klay Thompson. See, man, they got too much power. The Golden State Warriors just got too much power. There are so many angles that you have to watch on defense. You know, if, if, if Cleveland can keep those guys in front, keep Golden State in front of them, they'll be okay defensively. But when they moving, the, when, when Golden State's moving the ball around, man, they are a dangerous team because they can operate inside, outside. You try to double team, they'll kill you on, on the throw out for the three-pointer. You try to guard the three-pointer, they'll kill you down low. I mean, they're just good, man. Coming off a solid outing against Cleveland. People don't, you know, really, you look at the Armand Green, guys. This guy can really play. Especially down under the basket. That's where his game is. Look at Tristan. Look at Tristan pushing the ball all the way up the court like that. Can't hit that that time from Green. But, you know, a lot of these guys can do a lot of things, man. That's how they got to the NBA. But when it comes down to game time, when the pressure's on, can they, can they perform like they're supposed to? Look at Smith, man. I don't know where his head was in game one. 
But anyway, guys, you know, we all make mistakes, but he just did Johnson it at the wrong inside. time. Pick That's when you know you're not into the game and you're not Johnson focused. Your mind is somewhere else. And JR making and that. JR got to hit a lot of shots, the man. He's got to pull. He's got to pull to Golden State um, out of their normal defense, out of their comfort oh, zone defense, man. Long, long so then they'll have to watch Kyle Korver and J.R. Smith. And Kevin Love can shoot that three also. You know, and Green can shoot that three for Cleveland. But let me get back up to the game plan, guys. You know, they were doing a bunch of clear outs to open up lanes, penetration lanes. You know, pick and roll lanes. They were doing a bunch of clear outs. Also, doing this series, oh, great shot. Look at that power. Look at that power power. Guys, this is too much firepower. Also, they were playing like a man zone type of defense on both teams were doing it. I checked it out, guys, especially in the first half. Both teams were playing, playing like, they were playing man, but they were playing zone at the same time, packing in on the paint trying to stop the penetration. And that's when you've seen all the threes happen, especially Curry. Curry says, okay, I can tell right now they're doing that man's own thing. They're dropping down in the paint. Curry was jacking them up. Curry just kept jacking them. Look at him right now. Look at, see, he can be, see, Curry can work off the dribble, see? That's what I mean by when they were doing clear outs. He can create his own shot to get to the basket. And then when you try to stop them from getting to the basket, which I'm getting to my point now, when they're playing that man zone, um, trying to pack that paint, kind of like a zone man, Curry was hitting those threes, man, way out there. He said, well, y'all going to give it to me? I'm taking it. And LeBron was doing the same thing as you saw in game run. LeBron was hitting those shots, too. LeBron was in the zone, man. He was in the zone, hitting those shots out there. So I, both teams were doing that, man. They were trying to guard the paint from penetration. See, first they did clear outs, and they were, they were trying to get into the paint on those clear outs. And then when the teams want man zone, you know, um, since you can play zone in the NBA, they're kind of doing man zone. I keep saying that because it's so important. Oh, great D right there, man. See, and both teams were playing fantastic defense. You guys might not have seen it that way, but I thought both teams were playing fantastic defense. And that's how Cleveland stayed in the game. They played fantastic defense with LeBron keeping them in it. Um, Dominant yeah, but then territory. they went to Offense pick and roll. You saw a lot of pick and rolls going on, the three and the four. mostly in the third the quarter. Sharpshooters, Curry and Thompson um, so the one and the two. I think it's going to come down to coaching, the guys. The um, it's really going to come down to matchups. It's really going to come down who's, who came to play, who came, who head, who head is in the game. If, if one team is going to show something the other team hasn't seen yet, and then they're going to have to make adjustments. And then maybe that team can go to game uh, plan B when, those, when they do attack those adjustments. But let's look at this gameplay, guys. Uh, also, I want to make a point that Cleveland can't go too deep on their bench. That's another problem while, Le 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 while LeBron has to play 46 to 48 minutes a game. And I feel LeBron's going to have to average 50 points at least. 45 points for them to stay in this game. They had, he had to average 40 to beat Boston. And you see in game one, he had he had, he had 51 points, man. But Cleveland should have won that game. Uh, you know, that missed free throw and, and then that, that blunt by J.R. Smith, he could have put it up. He probably would have got fouled. Game was centered around the basket. Uh, double, double and you machine. see Durant going out of the game right cap, there. One of five players um, in the last three decades to average over so, uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'm going back to the bench season. play. He did that in Golden State's and bench is a lot deeper. The they are really deep on that bench, um, They can go eight, nine, ten deep. Cleveland can't do that. Cleveland can go maybe seven, maybe seven, eight. Deep. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, Golden State is really deep on that bench, man. You know, you saw the bench just come back, back in. I mean, yeah, you see the bench come in. Let's check out this gameplay. Of course, LeBron always handles the ball. Try to get everybody set up. Now, the whole thing is to free LeBron James up, really. There's Green. Green can do something. There's LeBron. He was hitting those shots like he did in game one. And I know Golden State is going to have a plan for that. To stop LeBron from shooting those threes. Young against LeBron. You see Young right there. Young played good in game one, too. So he's another bench guy that can come in and be productive. 
on both ends of the floor, really. The train, and there's Corver. <laughs> there's Kyle Corver, Corver, man. Corver's I told y'all, if him and LeBron James can get this, I mean, him and J.R. Smith can start hitting those threes, that would change that defensive style of packing the paint, which uh, Golden State does. See Young handling the ball right now. McGee is screen on James, and here's Green outside. He doesn't miss the shot. One. And Cleveland will come the other way. Again, LeBron has the ball in his hand, like always, making the right pass. On the wing, Corver, guided by Green. That's a pick by Love. And Golden State going to know they got to keep their eyes on Kyle Corver. Still getting There's Hill, and Hill can play a little bit, you know. I think sometimes these guys got to be more aggressive. Oh, the shot. Oh, way too deep, bad shot. You know, and McGee, guys, McGee, this guy, he can be dangerous, man. He can be dangerous. He's another guy that comes off the bench. That's what I'm saying. Golden State has a really nice bench. Guys can come in and be productive. You see, LeBron's going to have to do that the whole game, man. LeBron is going to have to be productive the whole game. He's going to have to score, what, 10 to 15 points per quarter. Look at all that firepower, man. Green can hit that shot, too. His head is in the game. But that's not his. That's not really his game, though. That's not really his role for that offense. Green, the screen. Golden State. Love with the screen on Young. See, LeBron has to work too hard, man. Back to James. Cleveland moving it around. Here's Green. Ooh! Holy cow! And you really can't forget about Green's wow. speed. Wow. See, when Green come in in the, the game, man, and the he's going to have to be really productive. He's going to have Under to be Armour. consistent. Unleash he can't show up one night and don't show up the next night. He really showed up against Boston in game seven. Now, here is Young. And looking at his production, he averages... A and I know it's going to be tough with Green here. You know, he missed the whole season with open heart surgery. You know, I didn't even know that until they mentioned that in that game seven against Boston. didn't get set. Yeah, just a matter of he needs to be there a split second earlier. Not much room for error There's Clarkson. setting a screen. You know, those guys got to produce a lot more. They got to give LeBron James some rest, man. Look at J.R. Smith. <laughs> if he keeps his head in the game, he'll be all right. And it's Clarkson in for George Hill. Now, Livingston, this guy can ball. But he plays within his role in the offense. He's coming off a 10 And when he has to create, he can create too. And that's what I mean by Golden State's bench. That they're, they're a little bit more deeper than the, than the Cavaliers. Young outside on deep. And so it's the Cleveland man Cavaliers can hit that shot too. in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. Well, they trailed by a bunch, but once they got going, the comeback was on. Tyrone, Tyrone Luke. As we sent you over to <laughs> he's a good Ball coach, guys, but he won't line. get the credit he deserves because away. he's coaching LeBron James. You know, LeBron James like to take over take over a, a lot of times, which, you know, Michael Jordan and Kobe never done that, man. They never disrespected those coaches. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Let's see if we can skip this halftime show and get right back into the third quarter. Got Shaq, got Kenny the Jet Smith. We welcome you back to the end. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. Oh, 62% for the Cavaliers and 38% for the Warriors. And the Cavaliers are going to have to shoot a good percentage. They're really going to have to play team ball. I know LeBron has the ball in his hands a lot, but Cavaliers got to get some mismatches. They got to move the ball. The game is set to get they got to set the a lot of pick and rolls, but then Kevin again, they don't want to do that fast-paced game because LeBron has to play the whole game. So they have to slow the game down. And that's why I think Golden State, the Warriors, is going to try to pick the pace up. <laughs> As we return to the action here at Oracle, a terrific look from above at downtown Oakland and the historic As you can see, man, they even got the lead over Golden State right now. The second half just about to get going here. As long as LeBron, LeBron can control James the game, really Cleveland can stay well. in the game. And they haven't needed a lot of shots to get their points. Just tremendous efficiency here in the first half. So I think you can LeBron nine points, four for five, the and the shot eight minutes in the first really half. Solid effort. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. Let's finish our analysis. Now, let's talk more about so it's Golden State with it. what these teams Before have game. to do in Coming game to lose, two. To win against Cleveland in the like I said, I think both and teams are going to have to make so adjustments on when they watch the film of game one, effect. which a lot of three-pointers were hit in game one. Curry definitely would hit a lot of three-pointers, right? So the Cavs are going to have to stop that. 
And when you try to, like I said earlier, when you try to stop, when you try to stop him from hitting those threes, see, then you got Durant. Durant can hit threes. Look at that. I'm telling you, man, they just got too much firepower, guys. And I don't know what the Cavs are going to do. They just got to slow the game down. But yeah, when Curry sees him trying to stop him hitting those threes, Curry's just going to penetrate to the basket. Back to James. And Clay Thompson and can penetrate too, but this game is to shoot the three. And that's good. Kevin Love. Look at Kevin Love. Kevin Love's going to have to be more dominant. I think trying to make the to most get, of his maybe, maybe they can doors. use Kevin Love to get the Warriors in foul trouble down low. I think they need to go down low uh, to Kevin Love a lot more. But then again, they're always double teaming him down in the tank. And they just want to leave it up to LeBron, really, I think. But you know, the Warriors, man, um, Steve Kerr always uh, talked about defense, man. He's a defensive-minded coach. He's a defensive-minded player. Even though Kerr could shoot that three. So the Warriors, you know, people seem to think they're all offensive. The Warriors play good defense, man. Warriors trail by five. Let me let me know in the comment section, guys, of what you think the critical thing both teams have to do to him. Curry shot is off. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. LeBron but setting it up. That one, they were there. Again, they LeBron want to slow the game down for LeBron. Exactly. I'm telling you, you got to play, you got to play 48 minutes. Pick up by Hill. Six to shoot. Nice job coming off that screen. Smith's got the lead. Now, JR's going to have to hit that shot a lot, man. He has opportunities for shots. You can see the results. I mean, they guard him a lot because they know he's a good three point shooter. And a lot of times, they need to put Kyle Cora and both of him in in a lot of minutes, man. A lot of minutes together. But then you don't get that defense you want. So you get the younger guys to come in and play defense, like Hill, Green, Clarkson. You need those guys for the defense. Man. And Tristan Thompson needs to be more dominant. And that's the one thing about Hill. He's more of a combo guard than a true point. He keeps his turnovers low, but as far as oh, look at Eddie, West, look at West with the left hand and one. <laughs> I see they can bring West in to, uh, to kill some minutes too, man. David West, he can come in and, and kind of uh, guard, you know, kind of cut the paint off, kind of protect the paint, protect some drives, you know, grab some rebounds. That's his role, guys. You can come in and try to be a little nasty, get a little, get a little bit of fouls. You don't care if he fouled out. Let him go in and bang some bodies. So that's what I mean. Golden State has a really good uh, bench, man. And another thing um, that I met, forgot to mention um, is that both teams had really good counters. Well, I'll say Kevin. I saw Ke Kevin Durant with some great counters. I saw LeBron with some great counters, and I saw uh, Curry with some great counters. And what I mean by counters is they notice what the defense is doing right away. If you'll notice LeBron. Uh, uh, Kevin Durant and Curry. Uh, I don't really see anybody else really doing it that way because it's maybe not their their role to do that because those guys have the ball in their hand a lot. LeBron, Curry, and, and KD. It's because they notice what the defense is trying to do to them right away and they switch it. It's like LeBron. When they see uh, when, when LeBron has the ball, they know what Cleveland's trying to do. If they, if they cut it off, LeBron notices right away and makes changes. And a lot of times you'll see LeBron jack up that three way out. He already knew what they were doing. So LeBron said, okay, you're going to leave me open? Bang! 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 Curry was doing the same thing. Kevin Durant, he knows when to drive and when not to drive. He knows what the defense is, how the defense is trying to guard him right away. And those guys can play inside and out. You got Clay Thompson. His job is just to get open and hit the three. But he can drive on occasions. You know, his job is not to go get, grab a bunch of rebounds. Clay Thompson plays his role and bangs down the three. Everybody has their role. And so it's the right. Cavaliers with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the And field. another thing I would like to know in the comment section, this. guys, let me know who you think is going to win game two. What are your game two predictions? 
What are your game two predictions? And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Let's listen to Steve Kerr. Moving to the next guy, drive and kick, let it come out of the wash, all right? And Steve Kerr asking his guys to simply run their offense. They do a lot of driving kicks, man. A lot of driving kicks. That's when Clay Thompson comes into the play. You know, Green can hit that three. KD can hit that three. Curry can hit that three. And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should LeBron. Look at LeBron. Inside, we've got That's what he does, man. That's how he keeps Cleveland in the game. He knows when to, when to take control. He, he knows the situation that he can dominate. When LeBron sees a, uh, a situation that you can't stop him, he's going to do it. He's going to score. Or make the attempt to score. It's rebounded by Cleveland. His high percentage shot right at the rim, and he's wondering what happened. Oh, good pass by G.R. Smith. See, that's the kind of play they got to do, guys. That is the kind of play they got to do. Smart basketball. Sometimes you got to come out of your game plan. Sometimes you got to notice things and create things also. And I think that the, the players with the high IQ can do that. Ooh, that was a good shot. But Golden State, that's a good shot right there. Here's Nance. And Larry, Larry, uh, Nance, I, I can't remember his first name. His dad was Larry Nance, I think. Anyway, his dad played in the NBA uh, for Cleveland, I think it was. Now his son is playing for Cleveland. Anyway, Nance needs to pick it up, too, now. He's another young guy that needs to be doing more than he's doing. Those guys aren't used to big games like this, man. They really don't have a role, I don't think. Curry against Clarkson. The dish to LeBron. KD on it, the rock, uh, 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 ooh, good putback by Kevin Love. And the Cavaliers lead by nine. You know, KD on LeBron is a good matchup. I mean, he they, they keep switching it up, but, uh, on that offensive play. yeah. It's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. Now, here is Young. It's Curry Bang, outside. bang. Another bang, bang. For Golden State. Expert at That's what I'm saying with Golden State. You can't defend them. You think you're stopping the pick and rolls. You think you're stopping the penetration. And then all of a sudden, Curry comes off somebody's screen and bang, bang, the defense is not there. You can wear a defensive butt out with Curry, man. And Clay Thompson doing the same thing. Kevin, Kevin Durant can do the same thing. Too much fire power. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Nance. Love comes in for Oh man. George Hills subbed in for Jordan Clarkson. You know, uh, guys, I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give this series to, to, to Golden State, obviously. But I think Cleveland's gonna win one. I don't know when they're gonna win one, but they're gonna get one. They're gonna get one. Look at that firepower, man. Look at that firepower. They just keep going and going like the energizer bunny. The Golden State Warriors are energetic and ready to go. Look at that crowd getting into the games. Uh oh, uh oh, double team. LeBron kicks it out. See, he gotta hit those. He gotta hit those. He got to hit those, man. That's how you quiet that crowd down. Look at this. That Clay Thompson, he can do those things, but that's not his game. That's not his game right there. This is the Smith. Look at LeBron, look at LeBron, look at LeBron. Good pass. See, that's the stuff LeBron's got to do. Come on, Tristan. You got to go harder than that, baby. Sometimes it's all about heart, man. Tristan, yeah, like I said, these guys got talent, man. They, you know, they didn't get to the NBA by being nothing. But they got it. It's, it's their heart, man. It's their heart. Where's the heart, baby? You know, a little guy like Isaiah Tal Thomas got heart. Man, if you can have a big guy with his heart, come on, man. Kobe got that heart. Jordan had that heart, man. You got to have that heart. You know, uh, uh, uh. Iverson had that heart, man. There's guys that just have that heart, man. They just, they just come and play. Recognize our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little. And I feel bad for J.R. Smith, man. He's gonna, that's gonna haunt him forever. 
unless he comes up big comes up big I, I you know I didn't see what he had to say about that you know I think I he, what he said he thought he was happening but he's got to he got to really apologize and I know he probably did to his teammates but he got to apologize to the media so people can just forget what he did man he's got to play big in game two all right, let's see. Just, let's see how how this is gonna finish. Ooh, see, they gotta stop those. Even though Clay missed the shot, they can't give him opportunity to do that. Those guys are gonna hit a high percentage of those shots. LeBron James with the left hand. See, that's what he does. LeBron's gonna get his guys. He's gonna get his. We just need a little bit of help. Green the screen. And they gotta maintain just to stay in the game so LeBron can get four or five minutes rest. And again, no good by Golden State. Yeah, coming off that screen, wide open, just can't convert. Well, I think, Greg, that's exactly what you want. Anytime you got the you got the game close a bit short on the in the fourth quarter with maybe a minute left. You can almost bet LeBron's gonna make it happen, man. But J.R. Smith, all he had to do is go back up with the shot. I know people are getting tired of that, man, but you know, hey, Two shots. this is big time, guys. This is the big stage. You gotta be on, you gotta be focused. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first Yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section. Just put Cavs, Warriors. Who you think going to get game two? Cavs or Warriors? I want to see how interest. I want to see how people are looking at this thing. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. And this is not a time to be patient. With well, tomorrow night, game two. I mean, look for the quick score and either a fast foul or still no options. Curry can, man, Curry's going to get a lot of those shots. Like I said, they're going to have to make adjustments for game two, Cleveland. And then when they, when they, and then, then when they try to go out to stop those shots, KD, Kevin Durant, Curry, is going to start those penetrations. <laughs> And then they're going to kick it back out to Clay Thompson and Green. <laughs> oh. Gets the first, and that makes it a seven point lead. And Smith needs to continue. Kyle Corbin's got to get on fire. JR has got to get on fire. And Kevin Love's going to have to score. Kevin Love's going to have to do some scoring, man. Kevin Love's going to have to average 25 at least. 25. And I think if, if Kevin if Kevin Love can help LeBron James out with some scoring, um, let LeBron rest just a little bit, and uh, I think they can do it, man. Because Cleveland has to find out a way to conserve LeBron James, but at the same time stay in the game and, and try to win this thing. LeBron ain't young no more, guys. He ain't guys? young no more. Man, He's playing 48 minutes, 46 to 48 minutes. Right now, look at the frustration on their faces. It's very evident, Greg. You can tell the Remember, guys, I talked about the clear outs, looking for lanes. We talked about the man, uh, man zone, a uh, man to man kind of zone kind of play. Pick and rolls, the bench play. Golden State clearly has the advantage on the bench. And the offensive counters, which is superstars. And, and Armand Green, I, I don't even remember his first name. Anyway, Green can step up at any time, guys. But he's a situational player. But he is a focused player. He does provide a lot of defense, a lot of rebounds. And he can score when he has to. Or when he's in a position to score. But, you know, he's kind of wild. Green is kind of wild anyway. So he's, he's, he's all over the place. Gonna be a fun one, guys, in game two. And so he drops them both. It's a Man, if Cleveland game. just can get one and then go back home, if they can just get one, which they should have got game one. Get the win here. 
a narrow win under difficult circumstances. Greg. All right, guys, this simulation gives Cleveland game two. To bother I mean, this simulation gives Cleveland game two. But who knows? The Warriors might be coming, come, come in shooting bad, shooting a horrible percentage. And whenever you got, whenever you're doing that, because there's nights KD can't hit, there's nights uh, uh, Curry can't hit, there's nights Klay Thompson can't hit, there's there's nights they're just not playing good as a team. As long as we get stops, get out and run, uh, we start slowing the ball up a little bit. We still cut some of our Look at JR, up, man. Uh, we, we still got it. <laughs> get what you had to do. Uh, Thanks, JR. Back to you, Kevin. He ain't going to be too enth Thank you, David. enthusiastic about taking his shirt off no more in this yeah, series. But well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, man. I hope you understood what I was saying. You know, those clear outs, man zones, pick and rolls, bench plays, and the offensive counters, man. But the most important thing is that those teams got to play focus and they got to know how to counter each other. All right, guys, and as always, hopefully, I will see everybody on my next video. Guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.